Hey everybody, in this topic I'm going to show you how we can pass a struct to a function in C++. Suppose we have a struct. The identifier of the struct will be cars. Then we'll create some members related to cars. How about a model, standard string model, a year, int year, then a color, standard string color. Then let's go ahead and create two car structs. How about car? car1, car, car2. Then we'll assign the members. car1.model, pick a model of a card that you like, then a year, and a color. Let's do the same thing with car2. car2.model, car2.year, car2.color. Let's pick some different data. That'll work. Suppose we have a function to display the members of a car. Void. How about print car? We're printing the members. We'll need some parameters. The data type of what we're passing in are car structs. So we'll list that as the data type. Then some nickname for the argument that we receive. How about just car? Then I will display the members. Standard output car dot model. Should probably add a new line too. Then do the same thing with year and color. Car dot year, car dot color. Let's test this by printing car one. Print car one we will pass the name of a struct as an argument. Uh, then I think we're just missing a function declaration, so if you're missing that, be sure to add that. There. Now let's run this. Okay, here's our car. Mustang, 2023, and the color's red. Now with structs, they're passed by value rather than passed by reference. If we pass a struct as an argument, what we're doing is creating a copy of the original struct. To demonstrate that, let's display the address of car1 before and within the function. Standard output address of operator car1. I'll add a new line. Then let's do that within the function too. The parameter name is car, not car1. There. So let's try that. So these addresses are different. When we pass the struct to a function, the function will create a copy of it. It's passed by value. We're displaying the members of the copy rather than the original. If you need to work with the original struct, you can use the address of operator. We're passing a reference to the original car struct. Then be sure to change that within the function declaration as well. So let's take a look at the addresses now. Yeah, these addresses are the same. Car2 is feeling pretty lonely, so let's print car2 as well. Print car, pass in car2 as an argument to this function. So we should have car1 and car2. This time, let's change one of the members within a function. Let's create a function to paint car, paint it a different color. Paint car, there will be two arguments an address to a car, as well as a color, which will be of the string data type. Be sure to add a function declaration if you're missing it. Then within this function, we will take our car dot color equals the new color that we receive. Now before we print our cars, let's paint them a different color. Paint car. We have two arguments this time, a car struct and a new color. Let's paint our Mustang silver. Then let's paint car two, maybe gold. Then let's display this. Okay, our Mustang is now silver and our Corvette is now gold. So if we didn't use the address of operator when painting our car, let me show you what happens. Our cars are still the original colors, red and blue. What we did within this function is that we created a copy of our car structs. 
and changed the color of the copies rather than the originals. So if you need to make any changes to the original, you would want to use the address of operator. So that's how to pass structs to functions. You can pass by value, which can be expensive, or you can pass by reference. Your assignment, if you choose to do so, is to post a function that accepts a struct as an argument. And that's how to pass structs to functions in C++.